Hey folks, this week's challenge is called the floor wall base bar effect. It's a an effect I've been using for many years and it's one of the fastest ways to quickly add a sense of depth and richness to your slides. So unlike things like subtle textures and patterns where you're putting something across the entire background, we're going to create our own set or scene using three design elements. So those three design elements are the floor, put on my glasses, uh, we have a floor and essentially the floor really is acting like a central portion the, the, the portion of the floor that you'd expect to see in a room. This is where our objects will sit upon. So we'll have the floor element, and it could be anything from a solid color. It could also be a, a, um, a wood floor, wood texture, but we're only gonna put a piece of it. We're not gonna cover the entire slide with it. And then next up we have the wall, which is the central portion of the slide, and it really does represent a wall, but that wall is the content holder. It's where you place all of your texture images, your charts, your graphics, anything that you put in your course. And then finally, finally, what pulls this all together is the baseboard. Now the baseboard really refers to that bottom strip of the slide, but what this can be used for is to create a horizon line that separates the floor and the wall, but also is used to establish the distance between the learner and the actual slide. Now when we see these all three together, you can see we can quickly place objects on top of the slide, and we have really some context here. We actually have a sense of depth on the slide. And what's also nice is that I can move the position of the baseboard and then raise or shrink the floor. So now I can give Vicky here a little larger room to walk around with. If I brought a different character in here, let me just pop in, uh, grab, copy Edwin, right? So you could have someone in the foreground, someone could be in the background. I'll just scale him up here real quick. Right, and you can see now, because we have that sense of depth, we can create a series of uh, different scenes or sets that otherwise really isn't possible unless you found the perfect stock, stock image each time. All right, well, here's a couple more examples real quick, different types of floor textures. You can take this and have fun with it, and in some ways the, the, the baseboard could be its own, its own graphic, in this case a ruler for an education or school theme. You can use just vector shapes to create that sense of a depth or perspective using just simple rectangle shapes. But one thing I like to do is if you find an image that you like, maybe a clip art, you can use that to sample the colors. In this case, the green is the, is the wall. We have the baseboard, the light green, and then the, the light color for the floor. And then anytime I see a pattern, like a, a, a free pattern set, I like to download those, add them to media library, and that gives me uh, some walls to choose from. I look for different lines to use for my baseboards. And of course, anytime I find any floor textures or carpet textures, those are great for my floor. All right, folks, that is the challenge this week. Interested to see what you come up with, but that's a, hopefully a simple technique. I've I, um, been using this for a while and it's really one of the fastest ways, I think, to create a custom scene or set for your slide when you can't find that perfect image. All right, hope you have fun.